this bionic ant uh, within our so-called bionic learning network, which is a collaboration of scientists and engineers and students. And each year we make products which are inspired by nature, bionic products. And this year we decided to look at the ant, to learn from the ants, because ants are famous for collaborating. And this is something we think that in future, in Industry 4.0, we will have collaborating machines, subsystems working together. We have a lot of sensoring inside. We have a 3D vision camera. We have another optical sensors in here. We have um, processors to calculate uh, the movements and also direction and so on. So also wireless modules so they can communicate together. And beside this, uh, we have these golden lines with this so-called 3D MID. So imagine this is a rapid prototype, uh, prototype actually out of polyamide. And after producing the parts, we coated it with uh, gold, actually golden lines. So we are able now to apply the whole electronic parts on the body of the art. This helps us so we don't need any cabling. We can integrate a lot of functions in a very small space. And this is also a quite new and interesting technology, also in combination with these piezo elements, which are also quite new to move, uh, to move the legs. This piezo element is a piezo ceramic uh, bending actuator, actually. And if we apply 300 voltage on this actuator, then it bends a little bit. And we can use this small movement in combination with the lever system to, uh, yeah, to move the legs. They have uh, to know their environment, so therefore they have the camera vision system, they can find the object, they also can see where they are, and then they have the wireless modules, they can communicate together and calculate together the trajectory, tra tra they, they have to go. And so, uh, in total, using all these subsystems together, they are able to collaborate. And actually, it says, oh, I'm now on Element, it would be great to have some help from another one, and if another one is around, then they come there and also uh, try to, to catch the element. Afterwards, they have to decide in which direction they want to move, and then they have to decide, I go backward, you go forward, so things like this. There are many things, actually, we can use in, also in our products, in fabric automation. On the one thing, this is the algorithms, which can be used in the communication tools, which can be used in many subsystems. But also the technology itself, like the piezo elements we use nowadays in, in piezo valves, for example, which are proportional. Or we can use this kind of 3D MID just to be able to integrate a lot of functions on very little space to miniaturize. So these are actually the technologies and the algorithms we are using in many kind of products. We already have autonomous devices, but they get more and more intelligent, get more and more functional. So actually the tasks they will be able to solve will get more complicated and actually I think this is uh, what will happen in the next years.